It is a short drive from Dara province to the capital. That is why rebels are calling their offensive in this corner of Syria the road to Damascus. Unlike in other battlefronts across the country, here in the south the opposition is taking ground from government forces. Commanders say this is because, unlike in other areas, rebels here have not turned their guns on each other, at least not yet. It's a valid question that people are asking. Why gains here and losses elsewhere? That is because in other areas there are some brigades linked to organizations that are not Syrian. Here there is a degree of unity. The rebel commander was referring to the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant and El Nusra Front, Syria's Al-Qaeda branch. The brigades here operate under a joint command and they call themselves the Southern Front. Earlier this month, El Nusra pushed so-called moderate rebels out of their strongholds in the northwest of the country. Here its men are cooperating with other factions, but there are concerns this may change. The Free Syrian Army and Al Nusra fight battle together and cooperate. But despite that, people are worried that there could be internal strife, just like in the north. Recent gains provided the rebels with weapons abandoned by government forces, but they say they also have another source. Dara borders Jordan, from where they are able to bring in weapons from what they call supporting countries. Those weapons helped them take territory in Dara province. And now the rebels are advancing towards the southern countryside of Damascus. Some activists believe the international community wants to use the southern front to pressure the government into talks. The state lost strategically important battles here, but the war is far from over. For the so-called moderate rebels, this fight is not just about winning territory. It is about preserving their struggle. This is their last stand, and it happens to be in Dara where the uprising began. Zanahudar al-Jazeera, Beirut.